Hi everyone! In this video, we're going to learn about combination. So, what is combination? So, a combination is a selection of one or more objects from a group of objects where the order is not important. For example, ABC, ACB, BAC, BCA, CAB, and CBA are all considered to be the same combination of the letters A, B, and C. So what's the difference between permutation and combination? So permutation is a process of arranging objects where the order and sequence are taken into consideration. For example, choosing two out of five pupils for the class leader and assistant class leader positions. Whereas for combination, okay, combination is a process of selection without considering the order and sequence of the objects. For example, choosing two out of five pupils to join a competition. So when choosing an object from a set where positions or arrangements are not important, the selection is called combination. So the number of combinations of R different objects chosen from N different objects, so R and N, is given by the combinations formula. So what is the combinations formula? So it's NCR equals to NPR over R factorial. N is equals to N factorial over R factorial times with N minus R whole thing factorial. And remember to memorize this formula for combination. Let's look at example number one. The martial arts team of SMK Saribaru consists of eight pupils and two pupils will be selected to represent the team in a martial arts show. Determine the number of ways to choose the two pupils. So from here, the n is equal to 8 and the r is equal to 2. So I'm going to use the formula of ncr equals to n factorial over r factorial times n minus r whole thing factorial. So here I'm going to use 8c2. Okay, so let's solve this 8 factorial over. So the r is 2 factorial and then 8 minus 2 whole thing factorial. So this 8 factorial over 2 factorial and 6 factorial. And then will be 8 times 7 times 6 factorial. Then over 2 factorial times 6 factorial. Then we can cancel out the 6 factorial top and bottom. So 8 times 7 is 56 and divided by 2. Because 2 factorial is equal to 2. And the answer is equal to 28 ways. Let's look at example number 2. Three committee members are to be selected from 10 candidates in the club. So find the number of ways to select these committee members. So the first step is to determine which one is the N and which one is the R. So the N will be here because it's from 10 candidates. So the N is equal to 10. And then how many select? Select how many? So we have to select three committee members, which means that R is equal to 3. So therefore, okay, the answer is 10 C3, okay, which is equal to 10 factorial over 3 factorial times with 10 minus 3 whole thing factorial, which is equal to 10 factorial over 3 factorial times 7 factorial, which is equal to 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 factorial, and over 3 factorial times 7 factorial, and we can cancel out the 7 factorial top and bottom. So it's equals to, so when we use the calculator, so we will get the answer 120 ways. And this is the answer. Let's look at example number 3. Find a number of triangles that can be formed from the vertices of a hexagon. So from a hexagon. So hexagon has 6 sides. So which means that n is equals to 6. It has also has 6 points. Okay. And then to form a triangle, so triangle consists of three, three points to form a triangle or three sides. So R is equals to three. So which means that to find the number of triangles that can be formed, we're going to use 6C3. Okay, will be 6 factorial over 3 factorial and then 6 minus 3 holding factorial, which is equals to 6 factorial over 3 factorial times 3 factorial. And it's equals to 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 factorial, then over 3 factorial times 3 factorial, we can cancel out the 3 factorial top and bottom. And the answer is equals to 20 ways. Let's 